Welcome to the maintenance episode, where we perform the very first engine service all by ourselves. Create a diagram of our electric setup and answer one very important question. Can a narrowboat be pulled by an electric scooter? So it's been a year since hairdressers are open. Do you still prefer my services? Uh, cheaper. Give me free. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Why not, eh? You've been giving it a go for a year? I'll shave uh, your microphone in a minute. No, please don't. <laughs> Have I got any grey hairs? No. We're going to do an engine service. We've not done one before ourselves. Um, so we're going to clear the back deck and then we're going to change the oil, then the oil filter, then the air filter, and then the fuel filter. Uh, we've got a little kit from Beta Marine that we ordered. Um, there might be other stuff in there, but I think that covers most of it. First, we emptied the stern, but then we got some unexpected visitors. The cows are here. We had to relocate our all the plants from land back on the roof because the herd is here. They look really curious. Ridiculous or really curious? Really curious. Hi. Do you reckon they'll let me stroke them? You need to sing a cow song so they come to you. Here you go, that's your box. Skizzers. Cool. Got some kindling. Okay, first things first. Got an oil filter. We've got a air filter. And we have got here fuel filter. So the first thing we're going to do is empty the oil. Um, and on our engine, we've got a pump here that you can empty it out with. So I'm going to do that first. I had kept some old oil and antifreeze drums. Oh, well, I've got new stuff. Oh. Might need some pliers actually. There we go. I don't want to just drop this. Doesn't seem to be coming out. Oh, do I need to twist this? There we go. That's the old oil eat. Now what we need to do is take the oil filter off, the old one, um, and what we need to do is prime the new one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your finger in the oil, prime you're gonna it. put it around the rubber, mm -hmm. and I would just put it there as well. 
Doesn't it a lot of oil? Not there, but the, give the rubber a, a decent. I might pop and go. Oh, there goes loads. That's it. So what I've got to make sure, which required our engine being rebuilt once, is to make sure that this rubber washer comes off with the old filter. When we had a full service once, that was left on, and then they screwed this on, and then all of our oil leaked, and it meant that the boatyard had to rebuild our engine, which they weren't too pleased about, but they did do it. Oh. You got the bag? Yeah, it's on up here. Okay. Cool. Well done. Right. right. Oil filter done. Check. Mm -hmm. So next step, we've got to take, uh, fill the oil back up. Now we've done the filter, which actually came off all right. I was a bit worried about that, and I wasn't going to stab a screwdriver into it. So yeah, we just need to fill it up. We need to match how much we took out. Four and a half, nearly five litres out of that one. Same with that one. So about eight litres. What we'll do is we'll do one and a half and we'll do a dipstick. But I'll clean the dipstick now. Top tip, keep this for when you need to empty your oil next time. See what this is saying. Okay, it looks about a third the way up. Just give it a wipe. Okay, it's about halfway up. Yeah, that'll do. Never done this before, but this is the air filter. This is what it should look like. Let's see what it actually looks like. Wow. That's pretty dirty. Actually, before I do that, I'll just give this unit a bit of a wipe. with the fuel filter? It wasn't coming off because we were tightening it. It's moving. Good news. Cool, get that bag open. Turn the bag closer. One, apply film film of oil to the surface of the gasket. Turn the filter by hand until it meets the base, then twist, three quarter turn. I think that's meant to be drawing fuel into it because it's empty at the moment. Mm -hmm. I do think I am meant to bleed it somehow, but I don't know where to bleed it from. Now let's see if we've got any leakage. That's air. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Cool, just done our first engine service. I'm gonna change my name to Dave. We did almost ring Dave, but um, we got it 
thought we'll get the instructions out instead actually. So um, yeah, that's cool. Fuel filter, air filter, oil filter, all changed, oil changed. The only thing we haven't done is gearbox. No idea how that works, so we'll save that one for someone else. There is a secondary filter for the fuel, which takes out all the water. But again, I don't know how to do that. Maybe we'll have a look at the video from Ed last year, because he did that. I, th I don't think that's a replaceable filter. That's just one you like take out, clean out, get all the smeg out of it, and then put it back on. Do you remember he took it out and it was like, oh look, I don't mean it's never been done. Um, if it's never been done, He doesn't speak like that, by the way. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Go back to yeah. episode 15. Three or something. <laughs> So you're gonna do the stone gland now. I've done it before. Once I've done the stone gland, I'm also gonna draw an electrical diagram of our batteries. I was meant to do that a couple of months ago, but I haven't done that yet. So I've got my paper ready, I'm gonna do that. So for the next time, if we come across any disconnections, I should be able to put it back together. Yeah, that's the plan. Look, 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 look. That's, you, you're unscrewing it too fast, that creates the air bubbles. Literally, like pushing it down on itself. You know, like putting pressure in the middle, see how I'm like pushing it. Just yeah, and it will pull itself down. There you go. Right. Yeah, that'll do. Again, you're not trying to see. Look, so maybe it's, it's too it's much. It's like marmite. So I've been here for about two hours now. No, you haven't. What are you doing with all the marmite anyway? It's just. It seems like a quick job, but it's not. It's just got to layer it in, layer it in. Yeah, you've got the technique now. Okay. Until it gets tough. Cool. Right, I'm about to start uh, to draw a diagram but of the circuit, but it's set it to rain. This is going to be quite a primitive diagram, but as long as I remember and understand it, that's the most important thing. I've got it, but this is a draft. I will make it a bit more official. We might see the herd again. No, we're going to go in 10 minutes. We are 
Almost there, we've got one more lock and one very low bridge to get through. We're going to the same rowing spot just uh, in front of Port Meadow in Oxford. It just started to rain, so we decided to stop over, have a snack, and tea. Depends how long this rain is going to go for maybe dinner before we continue. We stopped just at the right time. It's really wet out there. Chili? Yeah. It's wet. Mars is going to show me a rope swing. <laughs> Good wet. Nice. Is it scary? No. Woo! Yes. I'll do the round. Woohoo! That was so much fun! I loved it. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, thanks. Wait for our home to show on the horizon, soon we'll be there. Hold on time. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just Chicken with a bridge. <laughs> I won. We are dreamers of the shore. Where are you going? To the bins. Now it stopped flashing finally and only then I can open the gates. There you go. So a question we get asked all the time, we're finally going to answer. And that question is, can you pull a narrow boat on an electric scooter? Let's find out. Uh oh. Uh. That was uh. <laughs> this can work. Plus, it's going, it's going away. The answer is no. <laughs> it's funny how getting water and emptying your bins is an adventure and it took us basically two days with the other boat jobs to get it sorted. But yeah, we made a weekend out of it. Yeah, did, did you like a uh, festy picnic spot? I did, it looks really, really, really nice. 
there's mussels here. I wonder if you can eat them. Would that be right? Well, mussels is like the dirtiest thing, it's a filter of the they're water. They're not dirty when they're inside you though. It's sunset after the storm, one of those really beautiful summer nights when it's actually very chilly and the clouds are so bright they're just very very orange and pink I just love how wide the river is here and the sunset is reflected off the water so it kind of all blends in together the sky and the, and the river it has this feeling of being at sea because it's so wide and so reflective it's a very unique place So that's the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a like and subscribe if this is your first video. Huge thanks to our patrons for supporting this channel and especially these guys who go the extra mile to make sure that our videos come out every week for you. Also, thank you to our PayPal supporters. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. See you in the next one.